and welcome to Deep in a Bunker. Today's video is all about the ultimate fire starting kit. That's right, the world's best fire starting kit uh, compiled, made by yours truly, with information I've gleaned from YouTube, other blogging sources, and uh, preppers, bushcrafters around the world. So stick around um, as I demonstrate the contents of this kit, uh, its effectiveness, as I've been shown in previous videos of some of the items contained, and uh, just lastly, I'd like to put a little apology. It's been a couple of weeks since my last video, but I've been dragged down by a severe flu and um, you may hear it in my voice. So today I'm going to try and get through this video uh, on with coffee and tissue to wipe my nose um, and blow my bogeys. So let's get on with it. Okay, and let's start with the bag itself. The bag simply comes from uh, Amazon. It's a medical kit, but the dimensions are absolutely perfect. Uh, 9 by 5 inches, uh, double folding out bag um, to contain everything I want. Multiple straps inside, and let's show that demonstration right now. So, opens out fully. I say this kit's so full, it doesn't uh, hold out properly. Okay, um, which brings us nicely onto the straps, as you can see here, I can contain everything I need inside. So the first uh, item up, simply a shoe polish tin which I made and inside homemade char rope. Char rope very simple all you need is material as 100% cotton and this happened to be an old t-shirt, no an old um, long sleeve t-shirt I cut off the sleeves, uh, put it into a braid, wind it round, put it in the tin, threw the tin in the fire obviously putting a teeny teeny little hole in, in the top and I've successfully made char rope um, yeah this stuff's absolutely fantastic I've tried a little bit uh, it's light as anything and it breaks up in your fingers like anything so a little teeny piece of that um, starts a fire no problem okay. right second piece which I'm really proud of hey so this is a waxed fire starter, once again utilizing an old shoe polish tin. And inside, you simply have wood chips infused with uh, my floor wax and then coated in a candle wax to bring it up. So I can cut that up into small chunks and use that as a fire starter. Really effective, I've shown it on previous videos. Um, I may show a clip of that in a second. So that's two items there. And moving on, uh, once again, you've seen this. It's the Sol Fire Lighting Kit. Comes complete with Tinder tabs. And to those Tinder tabs, I've added my own. These are dental packing tabs, which I have um, purloined to add to it. And these are all very easily set on fire with a Sol spark wheel. Absolutely fantastic. One, two strikes, it's ready. Moving on from that, you've got some more classics here. So you've got the classic cotton balls, soaked in Vaseline, ready to go. You've got, as previously demonstrated, Kapok. Okay, this is Kapok Tinder, um, a really fibrous material inside. And once again, get the spark wheel, goes up first time. Adding to that, um, on the other side of the kit, yeah, sure, let's go for it. You have your magnesium powder, one spark, that goes up. You've seen it in school when you've uh, done it yourselves. Uh, essential, really essential things here. Okay. And here we are, my latest addition, homemade Maya dust. And this is simply, once again, just wood shavings, small wood shavings, soaked in floor wax, a very light floor wax. And it goes up first time. I will be showing that because I'm really proud of this product. It's small, it's lightweight, it fits in perfectly. Okay. So along with these other um, methods, I've also added to, uh, so I've got my fatwood, homemade fatwood. Once again, that's wax infused fatwood, uh, done at home. I've got my wax jute twine, pull that out. So wax jute twine. You know, break it down, uh, unfold it, 
make it fluffy, and you've got a great fire starter. However, I thought, uh, why not add to that, you know? Simply get gardener's twine. This stuff is so fluffy, it's unbelievable. Just roll it in your fingers, roll it out, and make it fluffy, and it's ready to go. It's ready to go, the twine is there. The fibers separate so easy, and once again, just catch on fire with a teeny spark from your spark wheel. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. So that's three methods in one bag. Two of them are homemade. I only had to buy one, which is the wax um, infused dew twine. But you know what? If I didn't want to buy it, I could have once again got wax and just smeared it along. Okay. So, set. Um, oh, hang on. Nearly forgot. As previously demonstrated. So we've got. Um, oh, what's it called? Glycerol and. Um, manganate, permanganate, oh, what the hell is it called? Um, whatever. But that's a really great chemical method. So I've got at least a couple of chemical methods. I've got natural methods. Right? Um, but to set fire to these, as I say, I've got my spark wheel from Sol. Right. You've got matches. I haven't got them in here, but I've got long life matches. That's the stuff they dish out um, to army people. The windproof, waterproof matches. Absolutely fantastic. And then you've got your basic fire starters, your absolutely basic lighters, you know, old fashioned sparkle lighters. I've got two just in case one doesn't work. One more expensive than the other, you know. Well, there you go, one, two, really great. You know, these are essentials, you know, before you hit on using um, other methods, I would always say use up your lighters, use up your matches, okay? and then you've got your reserves. And your reserves are really simple. So you've got your ferro rod. Okay, you know, you know, throw some sparks, you know. Got your backup ferro rod with magnesium strip on it. Once again, exactly the same. Throw some sparks, get it going. Okay. And all these uh, combined make to what I think is the ultimate fire kit. So I'll be showing a demonstration now and you'll see uh, the effectiveness of my fire kit and how to keep you warm um, if all other methods fail. Wax impregnated uh, wood chip block. So here we go, we share this block. Just simply with a lighter, let's go. Wow, barely touched that with a lighter and that is up. Will be the sole fire lighting system. So using the spark wheel that comes in a pack and just simply this tinder tab. So I've fluffed out the tinder tab, expose as many of the fibers as I can, place it down, quite simply, one strike and it's up. And this is going to burn for um, a minute or so, enough time once again to get some bark, whatever, magnesium powder. And you can buy these anywhere online. Uh, quite cheaply, um, Amazon, etc. And it's absolutely fantastic stuff, especially this time of year. Uh, fireworks, etc. So here we go. Simply get the magnesium powder. Don't have to have masses of it. Pour it in. Using your spark wheel from Sol. One spark. That's it. It's lit. Great hot burn. I'm going to add to that the sole tinder. And look at that. Instantly up. Flames going. It's a K-pop tinder. Really fibrous stuff. Comes from a seed of plant. The K-pop plant I presume. And it just, look at that. It fluffs up like a thing. Really lovely long threads. And I bet it's going to be one strike again. Whoa my god. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. That's up like Wow. It's like a Roman candle. It's a uh, good old-fashioned jute twine. That's the wax-coated jute twine. So quite simply, uh, comes in these tightly rolled uh, two-inch sections. Take them out. Roll them out with your fingers. Make it nice and fluffy. So all the fibers are exposed. Get your spark wheel.
and there we go, we're up and we're gone. Now we have the common garden twine. Look at that. Burns lovely, catches one strike of your lighter, and that's an effective fire going right there. Right, so here we have the Maya dust. One touch of a lighter, that's gone up, uh, wow, really effectively. Very happy with that. So there we have it. So no matter your method of lighting your fire um, in your fire lighting kit, whether it's going to be chemical, you know, your magnesium powders, your uh, potassium permanganate and um, glycerol, it's going to be natural, your Maya dusts, your jute twine, wax uh, jute twine, or your common garden jute twine, um, which as I've just shown is really effective. Your fire tabs, your little tinder tabs, your um, char cloth, your char twine, whatever you're going to make, don't buy it, please make it. It's a piece of cotton in a tin, set fire to the tin, it will be fine. Okay. Um, um, methods making it go. So your matches, your lighters, your ferro rod. You know, your magnesium ferrule, whatever you want to do to make your fire go, it's your choice, it's your personal preference. Um, but I would say always try and make these things at home, they're far too expensive. And in my fire kit, honestly, the most expensive thing I bought was this, so $9.99. Um, but I couldn't make it, and the pouches inside the straps were absolutely perfect for my needs. The size is great, 9 by 5 inches and it contained everything I needed, absolutely everything. So, uh, when making your fire kit, do try and make it at home, um, so you understand it, you understand its capability, you're not just forking out dollars and dollars at a time and hoping it works. And always, always, prepare, prepare, prepare. As I say, prior preparation and planning prevents piss poor performance, and where don't you want piss poor performance? In the field when you're out there, getting your barbecue lit in front of your friends, you do not want to look a horse's ass, you do not want to succumb to cold. Whatever your scenario is, practice, practice at home, get yourself your fireplace, if you've got a fireplace, practice in the garden, build yourself a little fire pit, and make those methods work. Okay. So until next time, this has been Deep in the Bunker, I hope you've enjoyed my video, and I've certainly enjoyed making it, I've enjoyed being back online, and I will be posting soon. So. Take care, stay safe, and stay safe.